Grandfather, you were sleeping again. Why don't you stay in bed? My sister says you're old and rich enough to stay there all day. I have to have another talk with your sister.
are safe. Who are you? I am Tikoyo. How did it get here? The gods must have brought it. It's not breathing. A shark can only breathe when it's moving. Move it. Tell him to open his gills. Shark, open your gill. It opened! <laughs> the first creature who has touched him. He will follow you forever. Forever? Yes, but he was born from the same one that tried to kill you. You want to kill it? No. Good, then it will stay with you as long as you need it. You're lucky. It's a boy. Why lucky? What's wrong with the girl? Depends on the girl. told me it was a tiger shark like the one that tried to kill me. But it is. But it has no stripes. Some tiger sharks lose their stripes when they get older. You must be Manidu from Hawaii. Yes, I am Manidu from Hawaii. Tikoyo's told me about you. You are the granddaughter of the cultured pearl merchant. Yes. Hello, Diana Tatawa. Hello. Good thing you came. The shark wants to make you a friend. How do you know? The shark told me. Sharks don't talk. They're dangerous. Not this one. Come here, shark. Shark, the Koya and Diana want to be your friends, right? Yes. I hope you come back soon. You know that the spirits of the dead sometimes live on in sharks. This shark is good. One day a big spirit will live inside him. Can you keep a secret? I'm sure you can. At one spot, very deep in the lagoon, there's a bed of natural black pearls. According to legend, they are sacred. 
A long time ago, I came from Hawaii in my big canoe just to see them. You must remember that dark blue circle. That's where the pearls are. Tomorrow, I will show you. When you are strong and brave enough to dive to the bottom, those pearls will be yours. What you do with them is up to you. Will I be rich, money do? You will be a man. Grandfather wants me to stay near the house. Are you mad at me? No, no. How is Money do? He's getting old now. Do you still have your shark? No, but I see him and the turtle in the lagoon whenever I want. He's big now. How big? Like this fish? More bigger. If you come with me, I'll show you. When I grow up, I'll build my house right here. And I'll build my house there. And who is going to give you the money? <laughs> You're a real girl of the islands. Come on, Takoyo. Father. I have decided to send you to school back in America. You are Polynesian American, remember? Your father lives there. In America, you'll learn many things. Send Jeff. He wants to go. Tomorrow, your boat leaves for Los Angeles. Tomorrow? Takoyo. I'll be back. I swear. Sakayo, I'm tired of this part. 
buddy. Take me where I can lie in the currents and listen to the waters. Let's go back, Manny Doo. You're sick. And the boat is filling up with water. Live like our ancestors, Takayo. They were free men. Can't you stay with me anymore, Mani Do? I don't want to be all alone. I asked your shark to to let my spirit live on inside him. When you see him, call him by my name. And I'll always be with you.
Maridu. Are you hungry? As usual. Tropical nights, beautiful boys. I just know I'm going to get lucky, Diana. I just know it. What a beautiful lagoon! I can't wait to get into the water. It's old. I intend to knock it down and build a modern one. It's so tropical. <laughs> For me, thank you. It's an electronic calculator. The latest one. Help you count all that money you're gonna make. My God! There's a kangaroo out here! Kangaroo? Oh, it's just a goat. No. I'll take its picture anyhow. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, she's a friend of mine from school. Is it all right if she stays with us for a while? How long? Jeff, she's my friend. Sure she can stay. I want you both to stay as long as you want. It's good to have you home, Di. I think America is my home now. In a couple of years, this island will be just like America. Anything a tourist wants, we'll have. Television, hamburgers, air conditioning. Hey, you know I'm planning to build a big hotel? It's gonna be another Florida. I'm sure. Monadu, I told you a thousand times not to get tangled in the nets. It's dangerous for you. You want to go out at this hour?
Jeff, it's so tropical. See those two guys sitting on the ground? The one on the right is Mishima. The Japanese fellow I told you about today? His family's loaded, and he wants to invest in the hotel. The other guy's Hawaiian. I think he works for the kid's father. I met him in Honolulu. Just order yourself a drink. Keep your friend on a leash. See you in a little while. Mm. Hello, Jeff. Hello.
She's so beautiful. When we were children, it was easier. It's different now. I'll try again. spots come to be formed. They're very deep holes in the lagoon. Hey, look at that one. It's almost a perfect circle. Do you have any idea how deep that is? Very deep, I think. <laughs> there are a lot of old wives' tales about those holes. There's a song in which they're called the footprints of the gods who once fell from the sky. This is a remote part of the island, and difficult to get to. It's stupendous. That's where I think my father would like to build a hotel. It's much better than the places you've shown me up until today. Right? Right. Can we buy it? I can't tell you the price. A crazy man lives there. He doesn't care about money. A real moron. See that old shack? He lives there all by himself. Take a pass around again. It goes as long as you can. Oh, 
happy in America? I love it there. You must have many friends. <laughs> Lots. Do you have a best friend? Sure. Millie. <laughs> Want some fruit? <laughs> These are for you. Letters? Why didn't you mail these? How could I? I didn't know where you were. I'm sorry. I guess I should have recognized you before. These waters are full of flying fish. Must be pretty big. Diana! Oh, <laughs> Millie! You aren't looking for me. I'm looking for some shade. I'm frying out here. Bye. Goodbye. Manadu, sometimes you confuse me. Like lobster, Millie? <laughs> it's my cousin. <laughs> Try some. Thank you. <laughs> Maururu. There's also a legend referring to those blue holes, isn't there? Do you believe in legends? The legend of the sacred pearls? Natural pearls in the lagoon? What kind? <laughs> oh, come on, Mishima. Nobody believes those silly old tales anymore. Remember, this is the land where the stones are possessed and even the wind speaks. Look, this restaurant is built nose? on taboo ground. Your nose is fine. Millie, my me. nose doesn't need powder. And I sold them the land. Oh, that nose. Sure, lots of powder. Excuse us. Just don't say I told you so. You know you didn't have to come tonight. You want me to stay in my room and miss all that romance in the air? One. Two. Three. Well, something like that. <laughs> I forgot. Millie, come sit with me. I'd like to show you something. These are me at 12, at 15, at 18, and now, I think. Who's the Gauguin? Tokoyo. Tokoyo? You mean that gorgeous hunk of man I met this morning actually drew these? Oh, instead of writing me letters, you drew pictures of me. For ten years. Ten years? They're beautiful. That might be the greatest love story ever drawn. <laughs> so I've been sending him photographs all these years. Mm, no. What? He used his imagination. Uh, Diana, this... Looks exactly like you. I mean, this one of you at 15 is amazing. <laughs> and look at me at 18 with that terrible haircut. He never saw you, but he drew you with short hair. Uh, I think I need a drink. Excuse me, may I have a... Is that smile directed at me or at you? What smile? Oh, that's Maui. He works on the yacht. <laughs> I don't know who he's smiling at. Why don't you turn your back and we'll find out? 
<laughs> Bingo, it's me. <laughs> I really didn't want to hear that story, but you don't mind if I catch it a little later, do you? Good luck. <laughs> Let's see the show. I suppose you think I'm one of those stupid tourists who gets hooked on the first guy who tries to hit on her. Yes. Well, if you feel that way, why don't you just leave? Yes. And the cow jumped over the moon? Yes. <laughs> you don't speak English, do you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, I guess you can't have everything. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I was little in Hawaii. I heard about an old man who came here to see if the legend of the forbidden pearls was true. We used to call him Manitou. Has your friend Tikoyo mentioned him to you this morning? Do you think he's still alive? you made in me are beautiful. I'm glad you like them. I did most of them while I was in school. Thanks for coming all the way out here just to tell me. Well, I came for another reason as well. Did you hear what happened last night? No. The dock at the boat club collapsed. Really? I was on it. Did you get hurt? No, just had the wind knocked out of me. How did it happen? It seemed that the pilings just gave way. But just before it happened, I saw something smash against the pilot. It was a shark. A shark. 
Did anyone else see it, too? No, I don't think so, and I didn't say anything. Takoya. Do you still have a shark? Yes, our shark. That was our shark that I saw last night? I don't know. Why don't you ask him yourself? <laughs> you even keep him in the house? No, only at mealtime. <laughs> Look at him. I have to feed him. <laughs> Time for me to die for the sacred pearl. He will protect us. Sacred pearl?
Is the pearl really sacred? Yes. If you believe that, then why'd you take it? Old Manadu told me to take it. The day I would be strong enough to reach the bottom. And that day was today. You saw Manadu protect me. I saw a shark protect you. It's one and the same. Since he died, his spirit lives in the body of the shark. Don't you believe it? I don't know. <laughs> but I love believing you. God. Yeah, it's the Hawaiian. It must have been a huge shark. How did the body get here? The current was very strong last night. How many hours do you think he's been dead? He ran the boat early yesterday morning. From whom? From me. These men work for me as custodians of my land here. I want you to call them and translate everything exactly as I say. I want no misunderstanding. And turn off the headlights. I want the body thrown into the ocean, well outside the reef. Case we knew when we were children. Okay. He says that's illegal. Grave robbing to hide a body. But I didn't hide the body. I had it taken from the lagoon and slipped into the ocean outside the reef so the shark attack wouldn't be identified with our island while the Japanese man's still here. He's leaving very shortly. We mustn't risk losing his investment just for a few days. There'll be plenty of time to kill the shark after he's gone. But a shark warning must be posted immediately. Can't we delay that and still take the same precautions along the beaches? <laughs> further out, find some excuse to get him back. Tell me if you're hearing me clearly. You're coming through loud and clear.
can't you close that? I think he wants to play. At this hour? He never sleeps. We'll play tomorrow, honey. Even Diana will play with you then. What day is it? I don't know. Back at the house, they'll think I've drowned or something. Do you want to return? <laughs> Thank you. It's beautiful. Why is it hidden by the shell? To protect it from the eyes of others. It's hidden only if you want it to be. Oh, and tell him Shark to come and visit me. He knows the way. <laughs> But you never told me what to do with it. So I gave it to Diana. You won't have to worry about me now. I'm not alone anymore.
This isn't the best angle. My father wants me to cover the area from all sides. Diana, do you really believe this about a spirit in the shark? The natives believe that there are spirits in everything. I might be a little late coming in tonight, so don't wait up for me. How do you two communicate if all I can say is yes? <laughs> you just have to ask the right questions. <laughs> you know, I never thought I could be happy living in a hut. Mm. These last few days with Decoyo were wonderful. And yet, when I'm away from him, I start to wonder, am I crazy? That's what Ms. Magazine calls love. Where did you buy this? It was a gift from Tokoyo. Tokoyo? How can he afford buying gifts like this? He didn't buy it. He dove for it in the lagoon. The lagoon? May I see it, please? I think the wind's changing. We'd better head back. This is quite a fine natural pearl. My compliments. Thank you. That pearl is quite valuable. Did you notice the quality? Of course, that's my business. If there are more pearls where that came from, you won't be needing my father to finance your hotel anymore. Unless... Unless what? Unless my Hawaiian friend got there before you. What do you mean? Well, he's been missing for several days now. And the last time we saw him, all he did was talk about pearls in the lagoon. Hey, wait here, make a tata. We found him here, outside the reef. What's left of him? It was attacked by sharks. seen you today, I would have come to find you at the villa, in spite of your brother, what? and everything else. What's wrong with my brother? He wouldn't like me. How can you say that? You don't even know him. From the little I know about him, he just couldn't like me. I repeat, I'll give you anything you want if you die for me. Hey, come on. Hey, the hole is too deep and full of sharks. Are you afraid? Fear helps young men grow old. Tekoya is not afraid. Tekoya has a shark who defends him. Tekoya. Where's your shark? Manadu? I don't know. He's been gone since the day he left my hut. I think he's gone back out to the sea. Forever? I guess so. Guess he doesn't need me anymore. And I don't need him. A couple of days ago, a man was killed by a shark in these waters. What do you mean by that? Nothing, maybe. Takayo! Do you know who I am, Takayo? Of course, Mr. Jeff. Hey, drop the mister. We knew each other as kids, after all. I am Diana's brother. Takoya, I want to help you. I know that you and you alone managed to dive and bring up a black pearl. Diana tell you that? No, it was an accident. 
But I don't want to know how you did, who, or what helped you, but do it again. Tomorrow at dawn, before anybody finds out, dive for the rest of the pearls, if there are any. Do you hear me, Takoyo? Yes, I hear you. I'll give whatever equipment you need. We'll price the whole catch, and I'll pay you 50-50 on the spot for your half. Wouldn't you like a little money in your pocket for a change? Then you can take Diana anywhere, with my blessing. You know that she's not going to spend the rest of her life in a grass shack cleaning fish. 50-50. And tell Diana to throw that black pearl back into the water. It's beginning to bring bad luck. Why, you? If I catch you anywhere near my sister, I'll make you regret it. You punk! You think I need a stupid pum or two like you? I'm just trying to give you a chance. I'll get those pearls myself! Serpent, Maku. Huh? I have a job for you. Big money and a nice bonus for the guy who brings up Takoya's little pet. <laughs> hey, boss, we're specialists, remember? We're gonna give Takoya his shark for breakfast. Breadfruit. So this is your famous shark killing method. It's the only way to clean out a shark infested area. We feed them until they eat in a frenzy. When they're in a frenzy, they eat without thinking. Throw all the breadfruit. <laughs> After a while, the hot breadfruit makes his stomach burst. <laughs> See? <laughs> right on schedule. Don't surface until this basket is full. We're gonna have a look down there first. Remember, your cut is 20% for every black pearl that you bring up. Yeah, but we take all the risks. Okay, 30%. And don't forget the bonus. Three men. Now he must kill the shark himself. I don't know where he is. Find him. We'll give you till morning or we'll kill him ourselves. Are you with me? Yes, kill him slowly with barbs in his stomach. Would you wait till he kills more of your family? That's why we're all here, right? To kill the shark. Now kill the shark. Get the spears. We'll trap him in the lagoon. 
How do we know it was Manadu? Another tiger shark may have entered the lagoon too. Mr. Jeff told us it was Takoyo shark that killed his divers. Yes, Takoyo shark. Check this killer. Old Manadu was a good and just man. Shut up about the old man. He was crazy, and so are you. What are Mr. Jeff said he'd pay for the boats in the next. you see is the only outlet to the ocean from this lagoon. The rest of the island, as the brochure says, is surrounded by a coral reef. The islanders have blocked up the pass with the net. If the killer shark is still in the lagoon, it's trapped and will be killed. A killer shark? That surely wasn't mentioned in the brochure. Camera's ready, folks. Here comes the scuba divers to make it the most sensational camera show of the year.
There he is. Say I didn't warn you. I always keep my promise. Uh. Uh. Jeff! Uh. I'll see to you later. Now maybe we can talk if you want to. It's over. You're taking the next plane out of here. say goodbye to Takoyo. How could I? You didn't see what they did to him last night. I couldn't believe it was my own brother, Millie. If I ever see Takoyo again, Jeff will kill him. I know it. Oh, my God. Do you think this is easy for me?
think she'll be all right? Yes. 